ET, meaning we now have all the ingredients save the convietas, which we can only procure the day before so they don't spoil. The steward concluded his report. Silvani nodded. Good. With that, all the preparations for the visit of the Tistri ambassador are done. All that's left is somehow getting Kirtan under control. Your Highness, if I may, the steward asked, when are you planning to inform your parents regarding your guest? Whenever I deem it the right time to do so. The steward, getting the hint that the conversation was over, took a bow and left the room, seamlessly trading places with Dr. Gitaw, who was now entering. Stressful day? Silvani sighed. Well, the Teistri ambassador is coming in a few days. I need to prepare everything for our new trade route with the Kursnelv. And then there is also the aftermath of the Karosha attack. By the first ones, the only thing missing would be my melt molting beginning early. But those aren't your troubles. How did your talk with Nadine go? Could you figure something out? Yes, quite a few things, actually. Something you should know first. As it turns out, Nadine is a noble. Silgvani paused. That was indeed pivotal. Sure, it didn't change anything in the short term. Nadine was already treated as a royal guest anyway, and since she hadn't said anything so far, she didn't seem to put much emphasis on her rank. However, it would be vital information should she interact with anyone outside of the Star Palace, not to mention when they would make contact with her people. However, something was bugging her. When I first talked to her, she was extremely nervous and had no idea how to address me. Even if their etiquette is different from ours, she should have still gotten educated in it. Or is she maybe a first-generation noble like you? But even then, she would have met their king when she got the title. Or is their culture that different from ours? The doctor chuckled. It is, yes, but not the way you think. But to answer your other question first, no, she is not a first-generation. On the contrary, she can trace her lineage back almost 700 years, which is equal to over a thousand of our solar cycles. Now Silgvani was dumbfounded. Even the founder of her clan, Chiron, had only risen to power around 600 cycles ago, 200 cycles before the Unification War, and Nadine's family was almost twice as old. So Nadine is not only not a commoner, she is the descendant of the currently oldest noble family in the Alliance, Yet she never said anything? Well then, please do tell me how their culture is different in not the way I think, Doctor. It is a bit complicated. I think it's best to give you my full report. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, Doc, Nadine apologized as the two of them entered her room. Her face's color was fairly pale compared to before, and dark shades had appeared under her eyes. The small alien had explained that she didn't really know how this came to be, but had insisted that this was just a sign of her being tired and nothing noteworthy. Don't worry, the palace is big. Getting lost is something that can happen if you're not accustomed to it, although you could have just asked one of the servants to bring you to my office. I, I thought they were busy and didn't want to disturb them. You are right, they are busy. Busy serving the people in this palace, which includes you, but I just wanted to ask you some more questions. So whether we do it here or in my office doesn't really matter. She held up a small device. And should an emergency arise, all one needs to do is press the button next to my door and I'll get notified. As they walked over to the chairs, Githai sneaked a glance at the desk. There was a small pile of sheets, the top one filled with a script the doctor had never seen. That had to be Nadine's native language. She also noticed that some words were crossed out. Ah yes, the pain of physical writing. Gitali couldn't even remember when she had written in physical the last time. Then again, their data pads couldn't reproduce the foreign script, and not being able to delete mistakes was a smaller annoyance compared to handwriting on a screen. Still, there were a lot of words crossed out. Probably had been a while for Nadine as well. There were also some spots where the writing appeared to be slightly washed out, as if someone had dribbled water onto the sheet. Had she spilled her drink? Next to the sheets, there was a box of molting tissues, or to be exact, a box that had at one point contained molting tissues. Its former contents could now all be found in the trash bin below the desk. Nadine pulled her chair away from the desk, turned it around and climbed onto it. It once again showed how tiny she was. She had even put a pile of pillows on the seat so she could reach the desk. I heard the dressmaker will need a few days. Will you be fine till then? 
It's quite warm, so yeah, I'll manage. Though I'm curious how the sandals will turn out. He got really eager when I described those to him, but anyway, you wanted to talk about the food issue? Correct. We still have some leftover meat from the Kirisha storage, but that won't last long. I also can't imagine that it gives you everything you need. The alien girl nodded. The problem is that your list can only do so much as my knowledge is only rudimentary. The best course of action would probably be to rule out the things that are poisonous to me and then just experiment. I'm not a nutritionist after all. She isn't? Then how come she knows so much about it? Well, I can ask that later. There are more pressing things I have to figure out first. A different question. Just to make sure you wouldn't happen to be a noble, would you? I, well, I mean, if the options are just yes and no, then yes, I am a noble. Oh, thank the first ones I asked. Technically. Githay stopped taking notes and looked up. What do you mean, technically? Well, it's true that my mother's family holds a title, but... Did she lose it? Because she married a commoner? What? No. I meant... You know what? Let's go back to start. Yes, I am a noble. No, that fact does not carry any weight. I have the same last name than some dude from the early 16th century. But that's it. The title doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything? The doctor nodded. According to her, being a noble only means, and I quote, that I can write a fancy word in front of my last name. They once had nobility similar to ours, but nowadays it is mostly viewed as an archaic concept. Most countries of her home world have either abolished their ruling class or transformed it into something called constitutional monarchy, which I have to admit, I didn't fully understand. It is still an important takeaway, just a different one than we expected. Should we ever make contact with the humans, treating some differently based on their heritage is what would offend them, not the other way around. I'll make sure that get that noted. What about, you know, the other thing? Regarding those, Githe said, pointing at the empty tissue box, you seem to have used up quite a lot. Is everything all right? I, yes, you don't need to worry about it. You're sure? Yes, I am sure. I apologize if I sound pushy, but I am aware that there are things one doesn't like to talk about. Please do remember that I am your doctor, though. Nadine was quiet for a high pile before she took a deep breath. I am aware, but I assure you there is nothing wrong with me physically, and I am in no need of medical attention. Very well. Different question. Would you mind if I took the bin with me? The small alien cocked her head. Why would you want some used tissues? To run some chemical analysis, one never knows where important information hides. Um, okay. Suit yourself, then. Thank you. By the way, she didn't finish her sentence as her emergency alarm called her back to her office. Ah, that concludes my report. I see. But what did you hope to get from the analysis? A lot, actually. Most of it was already dried, but it appears as though she used the tissues for two different things. One was a rather clear liquid that, interestingly, contained sodium chloride and hyaluronic acid, among other things. The other was some yellowy mucus made out of some proteins, as well as sodium, chloride, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. It's not blood, is it? No, her blood is red. But whatever this mucus is, she probably needs everything in it. It is interesting to call that a nutrient list, but we should be able to procure all of that. That is good news. What about the emergency? What emergency? Well, the one that sounded your alarm. Oh, that. No one was there when I returned and none of the servants knew anything, so I assume Prince Kiritan was just pressing the button for fun. Silgvani didn't answer. She simply groaned and buried her face in her, her hands.